Tonight I leave familiar for the great unknown Got a couple broken arrows and my hair has grown Since you saw me last Talking on an old flip phone Today I shed the skin of who I used to be Got Sinatra on a 45, I'm buzzing like a bee Just hoping you'll come fly with me I took a greyhound down to Georgia Hi, welcome back to Shawnee Hills Workshop. If you're new to the channel, I'm Wes, and here's the finished product. Now, before I go too far into the features of this, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that if you're wanting to build something like this of your own, I'm gonna have a couple things. One, I'll have the parts linked into the description to where if you just wanna go out and buy the parts and figure it out for yourself, you can, and that's basically just plywood and then a little bit of hardware. The second option is I'm gonna have plans available. 44 pages, step-by-step, -step, dimensions, exactly how to build one just yourself, and even a one-to-one -one template of the wing so it'll custom fit your vehicle, whether you have a 100 series Land Cruiser or a fifth gen 4Runner. Last option is a two-part option. I'm gonna offer the CNC cut you can either have just the wood, I'll cut out all the parts, ship it to you, or you can have the wood and the hardware. That's all the drawer slides, all the screws, um, the hinges, everything you'll need to do it all from start to finish. I'll offer those on my website, overlanddiy.com. So now let's get to what everybody really wants to see. Let's see what it's like. We got one big drawer and a smaller drawer and a fridge slide. These drawers are 36 inches deep. Now a modification I made and that you can make as well, but will not be part of the plans or the CNC is I actually recessed this down and made a sliding till. I did not make that part of the plans because you really need a table saw to do that. And it's just a difficult process. And this is not something the CNC would do well in my opinion. So I left it out of the plans or the CNC kit, but it is an option. As you can see, I also have several grooves cut in here with dividers, and that will be part of the kit. The smaller drawer, also 36 inches deep, locks in, locks out, and still plenty of room to put many things in. One of my favorite parts of the drawer system is actually the fridge slide. Several drawer systems have fridge slides. They're very expensive, and they just slide out. Well, this one, not only slides out, but it also tilts down. So now you can easily get into your fridge. And even fully loaded, it's perfectly balanced, so it's easy to lift up and down. On either side, we have these custom wings and got little nylon pulls. You can pull them up and you can access storage if you want storage. For me, I've got my dual battery set up in there. As you can see, I put some little plugs through. This isn't part of the actual kit, it's just something I've done. Um, you can do yours however you want to do. But they've got soft close hinges on them, so they open and close really nice, <laughs> other than hitting my uh, seat belt there. Then the same on the other side. And I've added some USBs on the other side. Got my other battery there. But basically, these wings give you options of adding plenty of more storage. Now there's one other part I want to show you, but we'll have to come around the backside to see it. Now behind the refrigerator and above the bottom drawer, there was a little bit of dead space. So we actually added a little hidden drawer back here that you can only access by flipping up the rear seats. It's a nice thing if you want to, you know, put a little bit of valuables while you go out on a hike or something like that. If a thief gets in here, they still might find it, but it's a little less likely. Now I made the drawer system slightly higher than the rear seats. So if you want to add a sleeping platform here, you have the availability to do so. So one thing to note is with the plans and the kit, even though I put my refrigerator on the driver's side, you can put it on either side. All you have to do is flip the top and bottom over and then assemble as the plans are shown, just with everything mirrored. A reason you may want to do this is if your 60-40 split is the same side as like mine is and you're using this as a sleeping platform, you may want to have access to the 60 split instead of the 40 split. It's personal preference, but I like having mine on the driver's side. So if you like what you see, go on over to overlanddiy.com, check it out, check out the different options. Again, we've got 44 pages of detailed plans. We've got CNC kits where you can get just the wood or the wood with the hardware, either one. And like I always say, if you like this kind of video, hit that thumbs up button. If you don't like this video, hit the thumbs down button, but at least leave me a comment and tell me why. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.